do a real quick uh, video on how to uh, apply ceramic coating on a boat. This is pretty much the same way you do it on your car as well, but uh, this boat's already been done a couple years ago. I'm just doing some touch-up spots where there was some gel coat work done. And uh, I get my supplies from Marine Nano Coat, or Marine Nano Shop actually. And uh, I've been real happy with their results. Two bottles of this. We'll get most of the boat if you're going to do the bottom, the hull. <clears throat> um, you're going to want three bottles, but uh, this is their Liquid Crystal Armor HD, and I'm not affiliated with them. Uh, if your boat's got a lot of water spots or something, you're going to have to buff it out. Basically, you want to have the wax removed. So what I did was I put a solution of 50% alcohol and 50% water in a spray bottle and then just... Um, since my boat didn't need to be buffed out first to get water spots off, I just went through and um, used a fiber cloth and uh, wiped down the uh, surface to get the residual wax off before I applied the ceramic coating. So Marine Nano Shop, they have all these kits, do-it-yourself kits, just depending on the size of the boat and uh, what level you want. They gave me this uh, buffing compound that removes wax, water spots, and all that stuff. Did a pretty good job. Also, you have the bottles, like I mentioned before, of the ceramic coating, and then also these little chamois square applicator pads. Um, basically, what you're gonna do, once you've prepped the surface, um, you're just gonna put this out of the little bottle onto the chamois pad here. And then you're gonna use um, no bigger than a three by three section. That's kind of big actually, if you're gonna do it right. Also, if it's, if it's very warm outside, you don't wanna let it sit because this stuff is pretty much permanent. If you let it sit too long and don't buff it off, it's gonna create this weird rainbow colored <laughs> haze. It's kind of like what you see on that, that roast beef. It's kind of scary. But uh, so you just put the uh, coating on evenly I put it on one way and then go across it the next way like this Just make sure you have even coating and then You want to let it sit for uh, depending on your temperature if it's real cold out it can sit for a few minutes if it's warm uh, And dry you might have a minute before you want to start knocking it down you take your fiber cloth, your uh, microfiber cloth, and you just don't even put any pressure on it, just drag it across the surface. And that knocks down the high spots of the ceramic coat. It also helps blend it in a little bit more for better coverage. Um, this is a Centurion FI-21, by the way. I don't have the boat out of the garage, so I can't show you the whole thing, but the stuff works great. A lot of people don't know, though, is this is not going to keep you from getting water spots. It helps to remove water spots like same day, but if you let water spots from hard water sit on your boat for a couple of days, like you're out on a houseboat tied up or at the marina, it's gonna etch. This is not going to keep from, you know, getting all water spots. Okay, so I've knocked it down. I'm waiting for it to haze a little bit more and I'm gonna buff it. So there's a little better view of uh, the finish on this boat. Black is really tough. And also the ceramic will not keep your boat from scratching completely. It's, it's not a miracle thing. It just basically cuts down on the time of application in between applications. All right, so now we're gonna buff it out. with a clean microfiber, not the one you knocked it down with. Like I said, don't miss any spots. Don't let this stuff sit on there and let it harden without buffing it off or it's gonna be pretty much permanent. I've got a spot on this boat from a couple of years ago that this stuff put on thick, it just stays. It's, it's really, really tough if you don't um, buff it before it hardens all the way. 
and just doesn't look right. So anyway, that's it. Uh, it basically, if you're not using the ceramic, you're gonna have to wax your boat probably at least every six months, you know, if that's your thing to keep your boat nice and shiny and depending on the water. With the ceramic, you can go a couple of years uh, as long as you use the supplemental spray, which the Marine Nano Shop supplies. I'll show you that in a second. All right, so here's my boat care closet. And as you can see, I've been through a ton of Meguiar's stuff, um, the wax, oxidation remover, all that stuff. I've also used um, the Babes brand of products. But uh, as far as the exterior goes, Marine Nano Shop is what I found to work the best. And um, the first step that you're gonna do if your boat is oxidized or has swirls or scratches, you're gonna use the uh, swirl remover polish first. Um, and if you have hard water spots, really bad ones, they sell this Venom water spot remover, which is really strong. You gotta be careful with that. It does have an acidic base, um, so it, it's only for things you can't get out with vinegar, you know, or just washing. The surface wipe would be right before you do the ceramic coat that has alcohol in it and removes the polish and any other stuff that you put on it, wax. And then you ceramic coat it. And then after that, um, over the years, every, probably every three months, you want to wash the boat and then use this activate spray which is just a hydrophobic carbon infused uh, silicone type stuff um, anyway that's uh, the whole deal and uh, subscribe if you found this helpful and click on the links if I've got any in the uh, description thanks for watching